Today on Future 360, the future's looking bright for our next innovator. Peter Lalive, I'm the CEO of Chromasun. Lalive is a global leader in high-tech commercialization. As the founder and CEO of solar thermal company Osra, he proved the viability of utility-scale electricity generation. He's now bringing that same technology to America's rooftops. Uh, Chromasun is a rooftop solar thermal technology uh, which miniaturizes what you'll see in a utility-scale solar plant. We can generate the same temperatures and pressures that you would get out in the desert but right here on the rooftop uh, using a, a rooftop flat panel product that we manufacture here in California. How do you balance being an innovator with being a businessman? Uh, that's a challenge because you're so driven about you know, the passion that you have for your product and yet you still need to connect it with a sound sort of business uh, case and then you need to sell that case to you, your customers, your investors uh, and do it in a way that they will agree with the, the rationale of it and not just the passion. And so I find that the, the challenge for me is to uh, try and hold back a little bit about the passion I feel for the product and the company and really try and work hard to make a good rational case for the product and the, the company that I'm working on. Is there an international best practice for developing new technologies? Here in Silicon Valley we see a much stronger success rate, many more startups being successful and you have to ask yourself why and I believe it's because uh, there's a culture here that allows people to try for success without risk of failure. They don't worry if they fail and also you have an entire investment community that's geared to invest in risk, that's geared to take a chance on something that might grow and that's a unique uh, uh, ingredient or a unique set of ingredients that we have uh, in Silicon Valley. What are the tips for dilution of shares or avoiding that? Look, the tips are don't take on too much money too early. I mean, it's very tempting to try and get a lot of research money, a lot of development money, a lot of investment capital early on and then try and grow the company quickly. The problem is if you make a misstep, if you, if you have a problem that you didn't expect or didn't anticipate and the company then needs to seek more capital to overcome that problem, you're going to be uh, your valuation and you're, you're going to be diluted in what's called a down round and that's something you really want to try and avoid. So my, my key tip is make your ramp angle a little flatter, make your growth ambitions a little bit more modest and try and work for the long term rather than trying to do everything overnight and, and do things too quickly. Is the future looking sunny? It is. You know, solar energy is by far the largest renewable resource we have here on Earth. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful resource in that it's ubiquitous, it's available in every country and I think it's just a matter of time before uh, countries, before mankind uh, finally utilizes solar energy for its long-term energy requirements.